Hi everyone. So today we are going to test the API we already did. So let's open the IPM App Connect. And I'm going to select the same org space that we already used to create the API. In my case, the org space class IBM. IPM, right? And perfect. So this is our API. It's the same way that you live. So let's take a look here on the on the left and the end of the page. We have integration server and you have integration node. If you have, if you click with the right button, you have some options. Connect to integrate server, refresh, connect to integration node, refresh. But we just able to connect if you already have another machine, another server. And this is not our case. So first to able to test API, you need to create a server. And then you can, we will be deploy this package sales to to the server and then you are you can able to test the api so to do that you need to open the console of the integration enterprise in my case here i have the option here open integration console in your case as you using windows you need to click in start and then type there ibm app connect and then you will open the option console and you are going to see something like that so we have to put some commands here and the first command is mtsi create broker and and now let's put a name let's call node 01 yes the useful command is completion Com complete you so here you have now automatically refresh in one node let's click with right button start So just with a node is not possible to drag and drop in our sales package. You need to also create a server inside the node 01. Now is able to click with right button new integration server and type server 01 and click OK. So now you are able to deploy our package. It's very, it's very simple, just press and drag and drop here. So now you are going to ask me why you were able to test, how you, the end point, the address. So just click here on, on the sales package and you can see here you have the document API, open API document and you have the REST API based URL. So let's click here and copy and now let's going to open the postman. So the postman are right open. You have two choice here, the option get post put. You need to, to select the exactly where you created the API. In this case, get. And here you have to enter the request URL. So let's remove the text, leave just the endpoint. Sales slash v1. Are you missing some information here? If you are forget, click go back here to the toolkit and double clicking on REST API description. This you have the information about the method get and the path slash sum. This information you need to back here and put. So nice. And you also have to, to send two parameters, value one and value two. Let's you have the, the, the tab here. 
value 1, put 21, value 2, put 20. If you can see in the path, you will have put another, automatically generate information here, get it from here. So now you are ready. No, 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 you're not ready because, no, you are ready, already deployed. <laughs> so now you are ready to test. If something is wrong, you'll receive an error. If something is, is the test is useful. So let's try. So you can see, you receive an error. Something is wrong inside in your uh, operation to sum. The types are not compatible for this operation plus operating. Yes, this is the... We are, I expect to receive this because this is uh, good to see. Always is not seeing everything is going to see so. Something is happening at uh, error. And you need to, to understand the error to, to, to try to solve. In this case, the message is really clear. They say the operate types are not compatible of a plus operation. It's been because it means uh, the the uh, the the uh, like can, can I say the particular mapping the particular operation don't understand this value one and value two. This is uh, like a number because the format they come in is like a string. Look here, data type string. The string is not possible to sum, and the message of the is correct. To solve this problem, we need to do something. Always, uh, actually, common, because sometimes you need to convertible a string to a number. You need to say to the computer, "This is not a string. This is an, a number." You, you are able to sum. And that is what I'm going to do. So first, check this. The result of sum is a string type. So you have to get this new sum and re re return to the customer. So let's put first by string. And you are, you are to say the result of the sum is a string. And to able to, to sum this information, you need to convertible this to a number and you have a function number and you put it here inside the, the value plus it's okay it's, it's correct again number and close here now what we are going to what we are doing here first you convertible the string to number the two values the two var variables and the, and the last, you put this result of this sum in a string format because we are variable hope a string. So okay, save. Let's oh let's try again. First to try again, you have to drag and drop again this to update your code. And now go to the postman and play again. Sometime when you also really click deploy, it's happening you have to cancel and try again here. And now you can see the result of sum is 41. If you change here for another number, you can see if you put a big number here and they convertible because it's a string. So So the operation is completed. So uh, here you have another way to see. If you put more number here, let's see more number. Yeah, they abbreviate with this exponential. So for today, that's it.